This has got the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. If this video helps you, please subscribe to our channel. So here's some cleaning tips for your Mila dishwasher. And one is to periodically clean this rubber seal. You can use like an old toothbrush or you can use a wet cloth and you just want to rub off this kind of soap deposits and that'll give you a better uh, watertight seal between the rubber and this part of the metal and that'll prevent leaks. So if you ever have a leak coming down here it's probably because this seal is either a little dirty or you can even pull the seal out of the channel slightly like this just a little bit so the rubber meets more strongly against the metal. So another thing you can check is this lower spray arm. You can make sure that all the little holes here are nice and clear. If there's some stuff in there you could try to pick it out with your finger or use some needle, needle nose pliers to pull it out or tweezers. You can also spin this off and then you can pour water in there and kind of let, let the debris just fall out. So if you do have nice and clean spray arms, this one, this is really clean. All these holes are nice and open. The water can shoot out and really clean well. But if they're obstructed, sometimes I see, see these where they're entirely obstructed, the machine really can't do any cleaning. True also of the upper spray arms, they have these little ports here and one on the side. You want to make sure they're nice and clean. You can you can always grab the nut here and turn this, and you can take the um, spray arm off. Kind of like that idea of Lefty Lucy here. So I'm going I'm looking down on it. I'm going clockwise, but it's actually counterclockwise. And you can spin that off, and then you can get to it a little bit better. You can pour some water down in there, and then you can get all the debris out and put it back on you can just turn it uh, toward your left and that's the like the righty tidy idea so those look great the other is your triple filter you can just turn the handle to unlock it whenever you put these in you want to make sure it's really locked so it can't float around otherwise food debris if it's loose gets underneath and it gets in to the mechanism and gets caught in the spray arms. You can just take this out and push on this yellow tab. Almost all the Milas have the same filter. You can look in here and see if there might be a little bit of food debris. There's a little piece of vegetable and you can get that stuff out and then it's less likely to get pushed into the mechanism. So this dishwasher is doing pretty good. It does have kind of a smell when it's all done. The dishes are super clean but it has kind of a foul smell that's left over. So if you ever have that happening there's a product called Somat and it's I think made in Germany. We'll put a link in the description below. You can get this and shake it up a little bit and then you can peel off this top and that's going to expose this part so you don't have to undo the top just to peel off that top and you hook this anywhere where it can kind of hang down Let's see if we can find a spot here the goal is just to keep this thing um, vertical during the wash cycle so there's a clever place for this there we go, like that. And then just close it and you're gonna run a regular cycle. And that'll clean it up really good. That'll get rid of any smell. Go ahead and turn on the power. And we're gonna use a uh, hot cycle. So we'll use the Sandy Wash number two. And when it's done, it'll get that acidy vinegary stuff throughout the mechanism. 
and it'll clean out any any uh, debris that might be in there, any foul smells. So you could probably do that like once every three months. And again, we'll put a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate you coming to our channel. Please subscribe when you get a chance by pressing the subscribe button and also the bell button so we can send you notifications of any new videos that come along. And we have a new thing here called the applaud button. If you really liked the video, if it was helpful to you, if you can click that, we really appreciate that. It shows your um, interest in our, in our channel and your support and can't thank you enough. Feel free to contact me at the email listed below, which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions. And also, if you need to have a uh, FaceTime meeting with me or a Zoom meeting, you can click on one of the links below in the description and we can set up a 15 minute or 30 minute video conference where we can work on your appliance problem. So thanks again for all your support and for watching the video.